Yes YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video we'll be unboxing and installing the Arcadia Jungle Dawn LED strip and that's going into my Cuban Night and Earls enclosure. So if you want to check out her enclosure as well as her herself and I've also got some updates on some new enclosures and new bills and that sort of thing. So if that's something interests you then make sure you stay tuned because that's all coming up right after this. Okay, so this is my three by three by one and a half, or just over one and a half foot deep uh, Viv Exotic Arboreal Terrarium. Now, this is a completely uh, self-made terrarium. It's made in similar ways I do most of my enclosures. If you're interested in that, I definitely recommend going to check out my Bills playlist, which will show you how these are done. But some of the plants are looking their best. Some of them are doing well, but some of them could look a little bit better um, because there's no specialized um, plant lighting in here. We just got the UV for Castro, which is my Cuban night and all, which she's there taking a look at us. What's going on, Castro? So I'm hoping that we can improve the plants with this, but also adding more visual light will help Castro herself as well. But I'm going to be looking to upgrade this tank, well not the tank itself, but some of the equipment on it because she, everything in here will serve her fine but I just want to make sure we're trying to replicate her natural surroundings as best we can and we'll go through those in, in future videos so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any of those. But why don't we go ahead and unbox the new lighting now, we'll get it installed and then we'll crack on with the rest of today's video. What do you think Castro? Ooh, I don't think that was a very positive sign. Right. Let's crack on. Okay, so we've got our own box and it's quite a nice sleek little unit. It's only a, the, I think it's the smallest one, I think it's 29 and a half centimeters or 30 centimeters and it's 15 watts, so it should be more than enough for Castro. Now it does come with a little instruction booklet, which is, I never read. Um, also you've got, if you're like me and you've got a wooden tank, you'll need these. So these are just brackets to attach it to the ceiling, which I'll show you in a sec. So you just screw them to the top and push the unit into them. I've got one on top of Bert's tank, but it just sits on top of the mesh, which is a lot easier, obviously. But screwing them into wooden verbs is not too difficult. Now, if you've only got the one Arcadia light in, then you'll need the power cable, which comes with it, obviously, and you plug that in. But you can daisy chain these together with these little leads. So because I've got the T5 Arcadia unit in there, I don't need to run the cable out the back, through the vents, and all that hard work. I just need to install this into the top and then I can attach it and power it using the other T5 lighting in there. So why don't we go ahead and do that now and I'll rejoin you in a little bit. Okay, so sorry about the mess. So. We finally, finally got the trim for this tank. So for those who have been following the channel a while, you'll know that I've been planning on getting a ball python, which has already arrived, and we were housed in a separate room in a separate setup in a quarantine period for now. But we did have a nightmare. I ordered this vid back in October, and one of the trims come in broke. Um, so we had a replacement, it was the wrong one, which this was the one they sent. Actually, no, this was the broken one, so it arrived like that. We had a replacement, it was the wrong one. So we waited ages for the new one and it's finally arrived. So, as you can see, I've used this as a dumping, oh, I don't know if you can see actually, there you go. I've been using this as a dumping ground, which has got all sorts of new deliveries, products, and things for future videos, as well as food, and you know how it goes. If you put something in a room you're not using, it's gonna end up a dumping ground. So, we need to tidy this out, get it cleaned out, and I want to measure the plastic sheet so we can completely waterproof this, and then we can start on the bioactive enclosure for the snake. 
But we should be adding the snake into this room once this is done. I don't see the point of adding him in here um, before this is done. Um, we'll just have a bit of a longer quarantine period. But we'll go and check him out later in the video if you guys want to see that. But let's get this cleared out. Let's get this measured up. And let's start bioactive builds. All right. What's wrong with me today? Okay, so excuse the mess, it is finally emptied out and we finally got the trim, woohoo! Um, also, I cleaned off the top because it again became a dumping ground. So, why don't we check the glass in and see what it looks like? May as well, now we've got the runner. New trim turned up, brilliant. Right one fits, great, it's on, look, it's on. What's happened now? So, the glass doesn't fit. God knows why. It's about three mil out, which is quite a lot, because you need to be able to lift the glass up to be able to remove it, and I can't even get it in. So, cut a long story short, I had a little scream and shout to myself off camera, um, contacted the company, and I just asked them for a refund, which they're gonna do. Collect the old tank and I'm gonna order another one, which I'm gonna do today. I'm really sorry that everybody's been waiting for this tank. I'm as frustrated as you are. I know everybody's really looking forward to seeing the ball python setup and I'm fed up with keeping him in his temporary setup. So thanks to the company who's let me down. But onwards and upwards, there's plenty of other things going on at the moment, but just another hurdle to overcome. But I hope you understand and I'm gonna order a tank today, get this started ASAP because this should have been, this was all in October and it's now February. So ridiculous. So we'll get on with this as soon as we can. I'm gonna order a new Viv today. I'll see what's available online. We'll try and get the best possible one we can. And then we can kiss her out. But another delay, another hurdle, but onwards and upwards, I suppose. Okay, before we start installing, just want to run through something quickly. Oh, there's Castro, hiding a little bit. It's just going to the shed at the moment. But I think we need to clean this glass, which we'll do. Um, so to install this light, so we're just going to need a couple of things. So these brackets, if you can see. So these brackets need to be screwed to the roof of the enclosure. Now the screws that come with them are probably a bit too long for this. So I've got some shorter ones I already had here. So we'll line it up, we'll screw it in place, and then all we need to do is push it in, and then I'll show you how to daisy chain them together. So why don't we go ahead and do that now, we'll crack on with the rest of the video. Okay, so it's installed. So you can see there. Uh, oh, it's not too bright, I thought it would glare out. But it's attached to a daisy chain from this actual light we've installed today. 
into the T5 light there. So didn't need extra power cord and these two lights run on one lead. I just need to tidy those cables up a little bit for having any cable tidiers at the moment. But this tank's probably, some of this plants doing really well, some of them are dying back and master's all gone really. So this and the tank needed some proper lighting and hopefully this will do it. So I'm gonna keep an eye on how the plants are getting along. We'll need to add some more in and just carry on developing this tank as you go forward. But I'm really considering taking the substrate out of the bottom and adding a new mix in there just because when I did this tank, um, I didn't use the same sort of substrate mix as I'd regularly use at the moment because obviously we've learned some things since then. I'm considering doing that and just add some more nutrients into it and potentially that's a video coming very soon but hopefully this tank will start to grow in a lot nicer now we've added the additional light in but i think that's enough for me waffle on why don't we crack on with the rest of today's video Forgot you want to see the ball python, so why don't we just quickly check that out? What a day. So, got slightly forward with the ball piping setup and then about two steps back. So, I'll order another one. So don't worry, that'll be coming very, very soon. I know a lot of you are, uh, I know a lot of you are excited about that. So, that'll be top of the priority, obviously, because we've got the snake and I want to house him in a better setup. Whoa! In a better setup. Sorry, I almost spilt my drink over the electric. So, I want to get him in a new tank now. I know a lot of you are waiting for the Axescapes as well, so in the next sort of vloggy video, I'll be getting the ADA Escape out, and by the time you've seen this, I would have already started. Um, I need to clean it down, I want to bring it out so I can escape it and film it nicely. I'm going to do, um, you may have seen a lot of unboxings with hardscape materials recently, so I'm going to be, I've got about six different types of rocks I'm considering using, so what I'll probably do is I will do some mock-ups, and I'll probably do those as the YouTube Shorts video, so you'll see each different type of rock and different scape that I'm going to trial and then obviously we'll settle on one and I'll film that as one entire video so we'll add the hardscape, the substrate, plants, everything. Um, I'll probably leave it a few weeks to grow in and then I'll release the video so that'll be coming up very soon. As well as similarly with the Dua Terra scape I'm going to be adding um, everything into that and planting it as well and again I'll be doing that in the next couple of videos so by the time you see this one I'll already have started that so that's all to come. But I'm really happy with the Arcadia Jungle Dawn light we added on the Castro tank now. As you can see in the background, I turned the camera so you can see the tank a little bit. But it's a lot brighter now and I'm hoping that will do world of good for the plants. And we can keep adding more plants in there and we'll carry on working on the um, tank itself. I just want to try and make sure these tanks are set up as nicely as possible. The plants and the animals are thriving and we're constantly working on improving the care and welfare of these animals. Um, now, if that's something that interests you and these are the sort of videos you enjoy, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, you regular viewers, if you can do me a massive favour and smash that thumbs up, leave me a comment to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and it allows me to make more videos like these. But I know a lot of you have been asking recently as well when I'm going to do another viewers tank, uh, viewers setup video. So I've already got some um, entries from the last time I posted. So if any of you do want to add um, any of your scapes, or you want to show off any fish tanks, terrariums, vivariums, anything like that, then you can get me at johnsrainforestroom at gmail.com. And I'll leave that in the description below as well. So if you want to send anything over to show off, I'll be doing one of those at some point in the near future. As always, any of the products I mentioned in this video will be links down in the description so you can go and check them out yourself. I'll be adding the Arcadia link in there as well. I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a better um, scale of visual light for your animal as well as your plants and it'll just replicate the sunlight just that a little bit closer. Now we started looking at on Bird's Tank recently and I've mentioned that I want to try and sort out the humidity and the watering system. We're maintaining those things at the moment but I want to get a bit more automated and a bit better for him. So I'm going to be adding a mister onto this tank as well as a um, Miss King system as well. So those are all things to come and I'm still waffling on. So why don't we wrap up today's video? Ooh.
Ball Python t-shirt, go and check them out. New to my merch, also John's Rainforest Room face mask. Go and check them out. It helps the channel and helps make better videos. So that's it. Bye-bye. See you later. Thanks for joining me. Ta-da!